here we are with Edge Runner episode 3. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. And we start with the intro. <clears throat> Man, I hope I don't I hope I don't have to rewatch too much of this episode. The last two episodes I have to rewatch so much stuff <clears throat> because there's so much stuff going on <clears throat> that I miss some parts. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's not yours either, I guess. Yeah. Oh, the mother sold it maybe to him, but couldn't give it to him before, because she died. So they know her pretty well, it seems like. Maybe they are like, okay, we take you in. So you work for it. Hmm. Okay. Surprise them.
<laughs> and he has nosebleed again. This guy reminds me a little bit of Barrett with the glasses. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Oh. What's she doing? I thought she would hug him because she's relieved, but nope, she put something in his neck. Some chip. Aww. And yeah, I'm a dumbass when I said last episode that Mio was the mother's name. No, Mio was just Spanish for like child or kid or whatever, right? Uh. <clears throat> mm, of course, yeah. Mm hmm. Definitely not Arasaka that did this. But I think he doesn't care, right? Okay, first job. And this guy has long arms. <laughs> oh, fight. Okay. <laughs> no effect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, is that even allowed? That's flat out killing. Might as well take a gun. Maybe because it's more like hidden. Just seems like a knockout. Hmm. And then... 
quickly take the chip. And then he puts it back in. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> There's a lot of like... rubbing going on in this, <laughs> in this anime, right? Mm hmm Yeah, he clearly enjoyed it. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you have to learn how to run before you can walk. <laughs> that's the start. Mhm, mm that's the start. You got it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the autopilot is on. Uh. If there is autopilot, why is he even steering still? <laughs> What are they going to do now? <clears throat> oh. What's he going to do? Just going through? <laughs> what the fuck? I guess he uses it a lot right now. <laughs> well, rip. Oh! <laughs> God damn. 
Easy. He's like, oh damn, we are still alive. How did this happen? <laughs> He is still around, okay. Made a comeback. How did he know where to go? <clears throat> Tracker? Oh, her wires. And speed boost. I feel like he needs a weapon, right? Like a sword. Or a dagger, a knife. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, mantis blade. She has a gun. Coming in clutch with a car. Hey, it's Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god holy shit dude he's literally buried he also has an arm cannon god damn dude <laughs> This guy has such long arms, Jesus Christ. All right. Was well, an entrance exam, basically. <laughs> Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where's Lu Where's Lucy? <laughs> Man, I really <clears throat> through the month? Nice. And some money. Nice. Yeah. I mean, a weapon would have been nice. Then he could have cut him using the speed boost. And this really makes me want to play Cyberpunk again. Who's this? He has a big arm. And four eyes. And not the glasses type of four eyes. No, he doesn't have a big arm.
yeah, basic corpo, right? I call the shots, you just do it. And you do it right. Oh, he's a fixer, okay. Not really like one of the fixers we know from the game. They are different. But where's Lucy? <clears throat> ah, there she is. Let's go. Oh, there's a little girl again. <laughs> I barely saw you, girl. And she has crazy eyes. Rebecca. Principal again. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss my ass. Yeah, he doesn't want school anymore. And he lost track of Lucy. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, another great episode, I would say. Um, we basically, yeah, I mean, pff, let's start from the beginning, right? Um, yeah, we got out of the situation that seemed very dire last episode, right? But just because they knew Gloria, which was his mother. Um, and yeah, so she basically planned on selling it to them for money, right? I guess that's how she got the money so that he could go to the Arasaka school, right? To pay the intuition fee. Basically, <clears throat> by getting like stuff, like chips and stuff, good hard, like good cyberware, right? And then selling it pretty much illegally on the black market. It's probably not even, could you consider it black market if it's just like one person selling it to some, I guess you maybe could. But yeah, she just sold it. But it seems like they had like a bigger connection, right? Maybe she did it often that she took cyberware from dead people or something and then just sold it to them. Um, because like I said, it seems like they had a connection, so they had probably like long running business together. And because he knew, because David is obviously her son, um, and he was like, yeah, let me prove it to you that I can be of use and that I can you pay you back. They were like, okay, I'll give you a chance. So that's cool. Um, and so, yeah, um, yeah, when, when, <clears throat> uh, when Lucy went to David, uh, David and hugged him, kind of like, when it looked like that, I thought, like, she was relieved that he didn't, that he won't get killed, right? But it was just because they put a tracker on him. Looks a bit deceiving. Why do you have to hug someone to put it in? You can just go to him and just slot it in the side or not. <laughs> so that looked a bit deceiving. <laughs> um... And so, yeah, then we got the first job, basically, which I very much liked that you get, like, that it shows it so visually what is going on, right? The person that it's about, what's it about, like, what he's doing and all that stuff with the um, fights and stuff. Um, instead of just, like, having them sit somewhere and talk, right? 
would be kind of boring. So I really liked the how they set the whole mission up and explained everything going on. And it went right into it. <clears throat> we went right to the bar and took the trip and all that stuff. But yeah, quite it didn't work out quite well, right? And then we had the chase scene, which was pretty cool. <clears throat> I have to say the, the animation looked a bit goofy at times, right? When he like um, drove over like to the other side of the highway, right? The car is just like flipping and dipping and going completely crazy. It looked a bit goofy, but it was fine, I guess. And then, yeah. Otherwise, we had like the small fight scene at the end, which was crazy. And then we had the whole fixer talk and the basically celebration of the at the end of the episode. I I feel like <clears throat> the fixer we saw here is quite different from from the ones we had in the game, right? The fixer in the game often, I mean, I think pretty much every fixer in the game seemed very chill and relaxed overall. Compared to this one, this one seemed more like a uh, corpo, right? <clears throat> Very arrogant, way up, up the line, right? Um, had more like, I mean, he had a suit on and everything. He he looked like a corpo. He talked like a corpo, and seems way different from the ones we know from the game. Like I said, so that was interesting to see, and yeah, I I. I I'm getting really interested to see if our boy David gets some cyberware enhancements, right? Because like, um, I don't know his name, Main? Is it Main? Is he called Main? The guy that I call Barrett? Um, like you said, I mean, you should maybe invest in some cyberware to get stronger, right? Because like we saw in the fight scene, he almost got killed. And if he had some cyberware that makes him stronger or maybe um, a weapon, could have saved the day, right? Then it wouldn't have looked so dire. He could have killed someone right then and there when Lucy, like, used her wires to grab him, the sword. Instead of, like, tackling him away, he could have, like, sliced him in half or something if he had, like, a sword or something. Or maybe a gun, give him a headshot, right? That would be very effective with his uh, cyber, with his uh, Sandivis, right? Like we saw in the first episode, he could just move really quickly around someone and just give him a headshot really quickly. So, he needs something, right? Because if he just stays the way he is, then it's like very risky. If he can't fight really, if he's just fast. And, yeah. That's basically the episode, I would say. Um, we didn't have so much dialogue with Lucy. I mean, she, she was a lot in the episode, right? But there wasn't much dialogue between David and Lucy here. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I guess you could... I guess it's obvious that David is interested in Lucy, right? I mean, when the other guy came and, like, talked to Lucy at the end of the episode before he lost track of her because he got the call from the principal. I mean, I guess it was, like, a bit of jealousy. Right, that he's like, oh look, this guy goes to her now and talks to her, blah blah blah. And then they went away and he lost track of her and I guess he maybe thought like, oh, maybe she went with him, right? I guess that's something that is on his mind. I guess he's pretty much interested, interested in her, obviously. And so, yeah. But like I said, I guess that's pretty much is the episode, right? Is there anything else I can talk about here? Mm. Yeah, it was... Also, it was funny that he uh, that she's like, yeah, you're you're pretty much already a pro at driving, and he's like, really? And she's like, yeah. If there wasn't this autopilot, why is he like steering the wheel like a madman if there's autopilot, <laughs> right? How could he control the the car on the highway if there's autopilot? Maybe just like half autopilot, right? That he has control over it, but it's like the car drives by itself on like. A route right and then you can just steer the wheel to make some adjustments right maybe that's how it works um but yeah i guess other than that not much to say i'm interested to see if we get like more missions like that right um maybe even more stealthy or something more action based maybe something um could be interesting i mean we are now at episode three we have like seven more episodes so very much looking forward to more because it's very interesting in my opinion. 
there is so much potential in the show. Like with Cyberpunk, there was so much potential, but they kind of dropped it with Cyberpunk, right? Um, because of all the issues it had at launch, mainly the performance issues and some lack of some features. But yeah, I can't wait to see more. I love this world. I love Cyberpunk and can't wait to see where it's going because, like I said, like I said, there's so much potential. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.